you know what I just realized when she bites her lip, that quite that tight shot right there, she looks a little bit like Lauren Yaffe. I I guess so. Blonde. Blonde. <laughs> I guess. What are we watching right now? We're watching she's, she's stretch. She's stretching, baby. Oh, look at that. That's that'll help the abs. Can you imagine mining your fat ass trying to do one of those? No. Want want to see an announcer get dumped on his head? <laughs> huh. I don't know what to think of this, Tony. Uh, it's just a baby doll workout video. I mean, we got we got to promote that she's going to be in the ring against Jim Cornette, right? But she's doing it with five pound weights. No, those are those are more than five pound weights. Yeah. Those are probably like fifteen pound weights. I'm being a smart ass, Tony. The okay. point is, we usually when, usually when we see something like this, mm -hmm. it's like Hulk Hogan bending the fucking bar, right? I'm not, not I'm not shitting. But I'm just saying Who, we're watching a lady squat 135 here. Who's her spotter there? Jerry Lawler? No, she. Is, it looks like very that very brief shot. It looked like Jerry. Lawler. She's way too old for him. He wouldn't. Do oh, <laughs> man, I set you up for that one, didn't I? Don't step on it next time. I had it ready faster. And it's <laughs> By the way, <laughs> boy, I forgot to tell you this. But, you know. It, me and you say a lot of bullshit on this show. We're trying to entertain you. Yeah. It's not supposed to be a journalistic rundown. No, it's not. We're trying to make you laugh. Let's not overthink this. Okay. So anyway, I got a text message from a hall of famer who is not happy. Not happy. Not at all with our, with our podcast. Yep. Okay. About things that we were saying. What hall of what, what exactly did we say that this hall of famer is not happy about? I don't know, but I denied it. And they sent me links and I was like, oh yeah, maybe that was a long time ago. I don't remember. Sorry. Wow. It was old stuff. Oh, good. Okay. Do I know this hall of famer? Uh, help me explain what we just watched. We got the Russians here going to take on Vernon Deaton, Rocky King and Gene Ligon. Oh. By the way, Rocky King, I was like a million bucks. Did he not? Yeah, he was great. Hypothetically though, talk me through what we just saw this baby doll training video. That's the thing uh, you had to have a montage you felt. Yeah, I think so. I think baby doll was very, very popular back then. I know she was. Oh, for sure. But I'm just saying we don't normally give guys vignettes like this, but she got one. Right. That's but for some of the guys, is it not? Well, you know, we, we don't show her wrestling. Right. And maybe we should have. So we wanted to show the fact that, you know, that she is. She's not going to be a pushover in Jim Cornette's match. And we're hoping that when some people look at this video, that they will say, wow, she, she can beat his ass, right? She's not just a valet. So I, I get it. I understand it. And you're saying it's a smack in the face of wrestlers who never get a workout video. No, I'm just saying there's a whole lot of guys who were fighting for time on here. Well, they, and listen, uh, I'm not arguing for them or against them. I'm just saying, I understand quote unquote wrestler brain a little bit now. Yeah. And of I course you do. Think how some of these guys will be like, oh, God damn. You know, she don't even wrestle. She's not even on the show. She got a fucking video. She got a video. I didn't get no. Well, shit. They got time wrestling on TV. They did promos. Yeah, you, you had so and so beat me in seventeen seconds for Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right, because you are enhancement personality. Well, how do how do I how do I get over like baby doll? Maybe well, you, you either Negative. got it or you, you either got it or you don't, you know. My point is negativity that exists. I'm I'm asking yeah. if it existed back then. Was there heat on baby doll? for how much she was featured i feel like you're being no. argumentative instead of just answering the fucking question no okay i'll answer the fucking question not that i was aware of thanks for that now answer. now now listen join us next week now hey no for more indecision no 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 don't be like that not that i don't know however okay there could have been some based on the horseman side of things if you know what i mean no i don't she so, had more heat. She had more heat for Sam Houston than she did for that video. Put it that way. Yeah. So there you go. 
And unlike ad free shows, she did not do a no show for that video. I wasn't going to say a thing. Mm -hmm. So there, um, how did you know about that? How do I know about that? Yeah. You want me to be honest on this show? Yeah. Who do you think got Tully Blanchard? Oh, that'd be you. Yes. So there. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, I got a, uh, I got a uh, a text early in the day as I'm driving. A uh, a text like, oh my god, oh my god, can you help anybody help out? And I immediately said, I'm driving, but I'll see what I can do. Bing. You know what's cool? Normally, I would have been involved in that. But yeah. I think they knew since I was in Mexico, uh huh. They just left me alone. Yeah. So well, you didn't know I you didn't know I got involved in that, huh? I didn't so. know there was a problem until I saw there was already a resolution, and I'm like, boy, look at this. Yeah. I got thrown a curveball and they fixed it. Should have known. Yeah. They, they, they went to Marietta. Mm-hmm. You pulled out your bag of tricks. Yeah. Uh, actually, I pulled out my bag of tricks on the road in Virginia somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I actually did that voice texting, did the whole thing. And candidly, mm-hmm. I think everybody would rather hear from Tully Blanchard. Yeah. And candidly.